If you live in poverty, especially in extreme poverty, which about a third of this neighborhood lives under the dictionary definition of extreme poverty. If you're living in those circumstances, nobody's listening to you because you don't have any clout. Nobody sees you. People who have lived around Toledo very long, most of them know you want to avoid this neighborhood because you're going to see a lot of ugliness, a lot of things that are uncomfortable. People here are not seen, they're not heard far too often. It's far too often. This project, in part, is so exciting because it's helping somebody who's otherwise not heard to decide what they want for their neighborhood. A play is really how kids learn about the whole world. And opportunities to do that are really vital to a healthy development. I've been involved with doing some play research in nature for a number of years now with a variety of organizations in the Toledo area, including Toledo Zoo and the 577 Foundation and the Metro Parks. What we've learned from that, we're trying now to apply to the city parks in Toledo to give the opportunities for kids to play in nature in their neighborhood. And in nature play, kids can use the materials that are available in nature to do all kinds of different things. So they think differently, they think more complexly in order to let kids discover what it is they can do and get a, a sense of what nature is like. We know that when people are engaging with nature, they take on a sense of responsibility for protecting nature. Nature play helps build that kind of mindset the ideas and concepts and what we've learned here in nature's neighborhood we're basically taking on the road to other areas of the city of toledo so we are bringing nature play to paul william alexander park and the kids in that neighborhood when we were preparing for play naturally north toledo we were doing these play activities at toledo public schools the reaction from the kids was just outstanding. It's reactions that I don't see on a normal playground, like children saying this is the best day ever. I would definitely say the students were excited, engaged throughout the whole experience, because many of our students don't have the opportunity to interact with non-traditional playground equipment. But with Play Naturally, students were encouraged to move the materials around. They could combine materials with another group and then expand their play, which is quite difficult to do on a traditional playground. But Play Naturally really supported students to be able to have the freedom when it comes to play and how they wanted to use the materials and also the type of games that they could make up on the spot. Our students can still enjoy the benefits of technology that they have access in their homes, but they can also develop a greater level of appreciation for nature by having a Play Naturally playground right there in their neighborhood. By allowing students to have these experiences when they are in elementary age, then they'll be able to carry those experiences over into adulthood, and you'll find many individuals of all backgrounds enjoying their spaces all around them in their communities because they're exposed to them when they're children. This project here at William Alexander Park is what I would consider a prototype or a pilot project for what we hope to actually introduce in our parks throughout the city in any appropriate place that we can incorporate the opportunity to interact with nature for our children and for their families. It's a much more sustainable way to develop a park and it gives kids the opportunity to interface with things that they may or may not have an opportunity to do on a regular basis. I mean a lot of kids don't climb on logs because they aren't in the middle of a forest, they're in the middle of a city. So we want to give them the opportunity to climb on logs the way you would if you were out in nature. That's a part that really excites me. We did an art contest among the three closest elementary schools here in TPS. And we had over 80 student entries, which was really exciting after they experienced nature play at their own school. We had a juried art contest there were five winners chosen from each school. Those five winners are matted and framed and posted here on our billboard. And then we paid an artist to do a rendering of what this park could look like a year from now that incorporates all the students' ideas. And so some of those students have been here tonight. And we get to not only show them their art on display, but how their ideas were plugged into the artist's rendering on the other side of the board. It's the kid response that tells me everything I need to know, that we're doing the right thing, that this is needed and wanted here, and that these kids given a chance, they'll transform this park and eventually they'll transform some other things in their neighborhood and in their lives too.